Hey guys, it's your boy Pivak with more Mahal Fitchwet content and today we are taking a look at Jean Grey World Boss Legend. I have not been able to do the video because well the recorder was giving me issues and well was also it was lagging like hell. So Jean is probably I think by far the most laggy world boss legend maybe if you're you don't have a high-end device just like I don't at the moment uh, I recently just unlocked her I'm still at level one you still need to complete Gore, Mephisto and Ultron five times each to unlock unless you want to use crystals so I'm gonna use uh, Thor the tier 4 Thor as well as my level 80 black bolt just to show you how much is the damage difference between the level 80 versus tier 4 and everything and how hard it is as for the rewards I think it's just uh standard rewards for world boss legend usually the tier 3 items some chests we have the odin's blessing chest which is nice every 50 stages again you will be able to get your uh, CDP chest of course random you can get any of these and then actually the rewards repeat just like the 100 of course we have the CDP chest again after the 100 they recently changed and added 200 uh, total stages uh, in terms of like 100 more stages uh, and it goes up to 200 conquer level now and the rewards are again two extra CDP chests and of course some extra materials and those things you also get some valor which is helpful in uh, helping your damage output Put more for the world boss legend also when you play gene you will also get some extra damage increase to gene world boss legend you also i think need to do i think mephisto or someone i, I forgot gore or someone you can also uh, get some extra damage from those world boss legend anyways so i'm gonna use two characters today just to showcase uh, the guide sort of uh, the animations the pattern how to clear it and how much damage it is first of all it's gonna be my black bolt and my black bolt is a level 80 uh, i don't have her of course the gear 75 i have a 160 percent damage proc obelisk on this guy at the moment so it will give you some sort of idea to you guys how much damage can you expect from like a proc obelisk uh, of course i have a 20 22 percent pierce on my cards so for of course that will be helping out a lot secondly i will use my tier 4 thor and my thor of course has a cdp of rage on him so of course i i do expect tier 4s to do a lot more damage compared to level 80s but uh, yeah we'll see how it rolls out so let's start off the run so first of all uh the patterns and the attack patterns so first of all i've got uh, this one so she throws those balls try to not get hit she has this purple attack which she can do like again it's just like mephisto sometimes you have to learn the pattern of the character she has this nice fifth skill sort of uh, small pattern and then this one actually is the deadliest one because they can uh, of course they chase you and if you get hit you get some big damage to your character of course you can try i'm liking too much uh, you can see my level 80 black bolt of course with my peers is doing a lot more damage but i just got hit once i almost lost uh, 70 percent of my hp so that does actually happen now uh, when you go uh, below 30% bar you can't do deal damage so you have to stop here just like Ultron's phase around uh, 8 bars when he changes phases you can't do anything and she goes into this phase this is the deadly one okay this is the last phase not this one the this is like this this is the one but uh, there's one more phase that comes around like 15th bar or 14th I forgot and that's actually insane so she's gonna look at that so she starts doing some extra damages uh, she is her attack patterns uh, become a little bit you know faster compared to what it was before and you will see all these purple attacks coming on your way you have to try to dodge them otherwise i think you're just toast you will probably die and now as you see i do extra damage and the red bar that you can see right there i'm gonna of course i forgot to switch so my black bull died the red bar fills up this is bad news that's really bad news. So what we need to do, you can see the middle line. You have to try to keep the X meter on just below the HP bar of Gene into the blue area. If it goes to the right one, the you can see it will show me some danger. You have to also look at all that patterns. You have to also try to get those patterns in. You have to dodge them. You have to keep the X meter in the this one. If not, well, you basically are dead. So of course we are able to get we are able to keep it into that blue one. So we survived but of course my ancient one died 
or engine owner whatever starts master my task master died uh, mainly because well i got hit from the purple attack so it's not like you can you are safe or something so you can try of course deal some extra damage you will have to look at that she moves so so quickly so maybe some characters like iron man might have a hard time uh, you like during the normal skills because jean moves a lot so again this pattern is one of the craziest pattern right here you get hit you deal some extra damage you get some extra damage Damage. and of course it goes on and on and on so there are a lot of patterns on this thing as well and once you get to the 30th I think 30 14 bar I forgot uh, you actually do deal actually less damage but I'm gonna die I guess here so that's how it is like it was supposed to be <laughs> I was trying to just clear that but it did not really happen let me just show you the clear like how to actually clear and actually one more pattern if I can show you right now because you again get stuck around the 14th 15th bar for the third phase so she does have three phases uh, two or three phases first is the 30 uh, 31st bar, 32nd bar, just like null. Uh, the second is going to be around 15th bar or something, I forgot. And it uh, it does happen. Of course, there's the bar one as well, just like Mephisto. He go, she goes into some different attacks. Unlike Mephisto, she does not, of course, uh, you know, Mephisto goes into total iframes. You can't even hit him and you can basically get one shotted on higher stages. It is still around the same, uh, like the same thing with the her as well, but you can see i'm doing a lot more damage i get stuck 30th bar comes and now i can't do more damage now i have to wait now you can just get closer to her as well if you want to continuously deal time damage you can see i'm not gonna wait i'm gonna try and go for the rotation do some extra damage and try and of course dodge the attacks it's not impossible it's not impossible to dodge the attacks it's just that sometimes well you can see I did some extra damage. I did not want to get stuck, but I almost died there. 13th bar comes. This is the phase I was talking about. So this is one more phase of this girl. And this is, well, it's easy to dodge. I would say, you know, it's not that insane, but she will do crazy purple squeak attack. So one, you have to just go swap, swap. You have to dodge them, all of them. And then you have to run. This is the part where I think you should, I would say, switch characters just in case your main character doesn't die. And she starts doing this sideways damage, which uh, kind of uh, uh, puts you in that Mephisto uh, thing. Well, Mephisto actually hits you, you actually get, you have to like uh, move your joystick from left to right to dodge it or to break that thing, whatever. Uh, you get temporarily what I don't know. I don't know what's the word for that, but anyways, it actually happens. So I think again we. It, it's hard okay it's not gonna be easy uh, i think the main thing i would say uh, is the last phase apart from the last phase i don't think it's very hard i think it's easier compared to some mephisto stages on the first phase because mephisto in the first phase can literally just one shot you with everything you do so just trying to look at that the pattern changed so much going on on the screen and you can see i'm in danger danger warning so i try to get it down and i got it down so as long as you uh, don't let the bar, the X bar fall into either right or left, you, I think, will be safe. So you don't really have to worry about that. So we cleared it, of course. Now let me show you uh, the tier 4 damage, the tier 4 Thor damage. We saw the level 80, how he can do. Let's just take a look at the tier 4 Thor with the CDB of Rage and see how much damage he can do, of course, with double supports and all the strikers because... That's going to be a verdict. Uh, now, there's one more thing that I want to talk about uh, Gene World Boss Legend. Of course, first, the patterns sort of resembles uh, Mephisto. She has some patterns which actually makes you stuck at one place, just like Mephisto's attacks, and you have to press that joystick left to right button. After that, we also have the rapid uh, purple patterns, which you have to dodge. And also, I would say around the purple patterns if you see the that's the main purple pattern is going to happen uh, you should just switch but she moved so again some characters are going to have issues i think if you time it right thor is not going to have issues she's sort of like mephisto mephisto also gave some of these issue as you can see i'm gonna try to dodge it but even with normal skill tier 4 literally just obliterated melted the 30th bar super super easily now i think uh, if i use here I can go right here and into the, I want to go for the tier 3 skill actually, there we go, 13th bar, 
you can't do more damage you have to go through this maybe you can one shot with some characters i don't know i have not tried but you can see she doesn't really do like she didn't, doesn't really take a lot of damage but it's easy to dodge like look at this one two we can dodge we can dodge we can dodge we can dodge and you can just go here you dodge it you don't get any damage that's probably the best way you can just to play it out you know so it's not that hard uh, again this is uh, i still don't like it and i'm dead so you have to watch out for this thing this can happen and if you think that this uh, pattern is gonna go if you have finished your rotation you think your hp is low or you think you can get caught up it's better switch characters okay switch is there and shuri has been uh, the savior right here she cleared uh all like <laughs> uh, like seriously like uh you have to basically swap characters when you see a lot of these purples don't be brave enough to just try with one character and solo this thing yes you can of course i'm just literally playing on a laggy device plus i can't see half of the animations because of i'm playing on very low graphics first of all so i would say she's much much more harder than null i think mephisto higher stages on first phase can give you issues second phase mephisto is not that hard uh, i think jean grey will be just as hard as maybe gore gore is also only hard mainly on the last phase like in the last seven eight bars eight nine bars after you deal some extra damage and because there's a lot of purple going on there is a lot of mobs which actually do deal the purple attack so that is also an issue so i would say jean grey i would say is gonna be hard but honestly for the lower stages i think she's gonna be much easier if you can learn the patterns it's super easy to kill her if you learn the pattern and it's pretty nice so of course like uh there are some skills that resembles and she's nice she's not bad i like the world boss legend i will try and push it but I, it's not like you have to get gene world boss legend every single day if you get it as a boss of the day play it if you don't get it well don't play it you don't have to rush for gene i'm not rushing at all and i'm just playing whichever world boss i get so let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about this guide i hope this video helped you guys maybe you will be able to clear some stages of gene gray and i'll show you some more content on higher stages once i reach and as always if you do enjoy the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one phoenix